Tomorrow night, the president will deliver his State of the Union address to Congress and other dignitaries in the House chamber. And among them will be a federal worker from Pittsburgh who has a special invitation to be there. Political editor John Delano spoke with her today. The State of the Union, the one occasion all parts of the federal government gather to hear the president. It's a big deal. But when Senator Bob Casey offered his one guest pass in the House gallery to Monica Hughes of Penn Hills, she was hesitant. What was your reaction? Shock. Um, nerves right away. Made me want to say, oh, nope, can't do it. That was my first response, can't do it. And then after uh, speaking with my significant other, we talked about it, and he said it's something that you should do, and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do it. Hughes, an Army reservist and TSA employee, worked over a month without a paycheck and is emblematic of thousands of Pennsylvania federal workers, Casey told me. Because of the shutdown, she, had to, she and her family had to draw upon their savings. They had to apply for food stamps and accept donations. If that doesn't tell you how bad and how wrong-headed and destructive this shutdown was, nothing could, could uh, better indicate that. Hughes says the shutdown was tough. Utility bills go up this time of year. Um, I live a good distance away from the airport where I work, so gas, fuel costs money. So it, it took a toll. She's uh, a good reason why we should never shut the government down. That's, uh, that's the point. Of course, President Trump has threatened to do just that on February 15th if Congress doesn't approve his wall with Mexico. Would you like him to say no more shutdowns? Of course. Of course I want him to say that he's not going to shut the government down again. But definitely. I don't, I don't want anyone to have to go through what we just went through. Monica Hughes can't predict what the president will say, but she's one Pittsburgher who will hear his words up close and personal. John Delano, KDKA News.